In this video, we will learn how to use our Export to AGI32 plugin for Trimble's SketchUp program. This is a super easy way to integrate more detailed 3D content into your AGI32 projects, or to perhaps even light your SketchUp models within AGI32's lighting-centric environment. To begin, let's open SketchUp. Shown here is the free Make version of the software. The plugin works with both the Make or the Pro versions. Load the content you want to export for use in AGI32. This might be geometry of your own creation or something you have sourced from the 3D warehouse, as is the case of our sofa shown here. Those of you who are new to SketchUp, be sure and watch our other short video with more details on the 3D warehouse. There are literally millions of models available. With your content loaded, select the portion of the model you want to export. You can do this by clicking, or by window, or if you select nothing, then the entire model will be exported. Now simply go to the Plugins menu and select Export to AGI32. Of course, you must install the plugin first. It's available from AGI32.com for free and works in AGI32 version 15.3 and moving forward. There is a short video showing how to install the plugin. So, the plugin will open a dialog for you to name and save your exported model. The Export to AGI32 plugin tells you how many materials, layers, and definitions, and faces, and textures, and so on are actually in this particular model. So, a nice little export summary. The file that is exported is not an AGI32 file. It's an intermediate format we call LADEX, short for LAI Data Exchange. So now that we've actually exported our model, there are three ways to bring the LAI DEX file into AGI32. The first way is you can simply double click on it. AGI32 version 15.3 creates a file association. This will drop the lower left-hand corner of the SketchUp model at the origin. Or, let's go to a new file. With AGI32 already open, you can use the import command to load a LightX file. Now all we need to do is navigate to where the export is. This is a little different in that now we can drop as many instances of the model as we like. Right click to stop. Or, perhaps even more fun, and my favorite, we'll open an existing file. You can drag and drop from Windows Explorer directly into AGI32's model space, where we can again place as many instances as we like. So let's play a little bit. I'm going to rotate this one around, and let's move it over under the lights. Let's move that one over under the lights. Maybe let's get another SketchUp model. How about a chair? Let's go back to SketchUp. That's cool. Export to AGI32. Let's go back to AGI32. Windows Explorer. Let's drop a couple chairs. Play a little bit more. Let's rotate one around. Let's see how it looks. Go to render mode. Let's calculate it. That's pretty glamorous. Let's take another look. Imagine how you might use SketchUp models to actually lend some realism to your renderings. This can be much more convincing. I love it. So here are a few technical details. All surfaces in the SketchUp models come in double-sided. 
You can change the surface type in AGI 32 surface edit if you like. For example, maybe you want to change something to glass for transparency. AGI 32 brings in the SketchUp model as a single object, as we saw, so it can be selected with one click. If you explode it, it will become individual surfaces. Any SketchUp groups or components are lost. Texture support is not included in the first release, although the texture color will be imported. We saw that on the chair. It almost looks like it has a texture. Watch for texture support coming soon. So have fun with this capability. However, a note of caution. Even though the native SketchUp geometry we are now capturing is better than the old tessellated DWG exports, AGI32 can still bog down with like 50,000 polygon models. So experiment and see how it works for you. And by all means, let us hear some feedback.